Hi guys, I'm Kevin Evangelista. Welcome to my channel. And today we're talking techware. But before we continue with the video, let's keep the lights on here in the studio. This video is brought to you by Sneak Attack Design Lab. They're a clothing company that specializes in technical fashion, more commonly known as techware. And you can see me in their clothes in most of my videos. I've been supporting their brand ever since I met them back in 2019, and now they're returning the favor. Head on over to this link, you can find it in the description as well, to get 10% off your order from their site. Check their clouds out, you're bound to see something badass over there that'll look great on you. Thank you very much to Sneak Attack for this exclusive promo for my viewers. Now, back to the video. So if you're not familiar, Techware is kind of like the branch of fashion which deals in like functional clothing. Clothing that is not all about form but also function. Uh, generally, Techware pieces are a bit more useful and functional and a bit more acclimated a bit more adjusted to a certain person's like lifestyle or like occupation i guess or the situations that they're expected to be in it takes many forms so if you're familiar with nike acg that can be considered techwear or uh, adidas's uh, terex uh, stuff so yeah uh, that can be considered techwear and of course, you have the staple techwear brands. Generally, generally high fashion techwear brands don't like calling themselves techwear, but they are generally considered techwear, especially like Acronym or A Cold Wall or MMW. Uh, yeah, those are uh, high fashion techwear brands. But we're here today to talk about a certain Filipino, like local techwear brand here in the Philippines. And they're usually the sponsor of my videos. Sneak Attack. So Sneak Attack Design Lab is a local brand here in the Philippines that mainly deals in techware. And yeah, I've been a very big fan of them and I'm friends with uh, the founders and uh, the people behind Sneak Attack. And today we're going to be talking about the latest iteration of one of their most like iconic pieces. And it's this. This is the Sneak Attack Shadow Nuragi Mark III. If you're not familiar with the term Nuragi, Nuragi is kind of like a Japanese uh, jacket. But yeah, uh, it's very iconic. As you can see here, I am very much into uh, wearing Nuragis, like different Nuragis, and I've got different Nuragis from different brands. But the most, my most favorite one is this, the Sneak Attack Shadow Nuragi Mark II. It's actually the very first, like, main piece from sneak attack that i got i didn't even have to buy it back then because i won it from a raffle during one of their events and that was during the time when sneak attack and i weren't that much acquainted i mean we knew each other like the founders and i but we weren't like as best buds as we are now so yeah and i actually brought it here because we're going to be talking a bit about their previous pieces before we move on over to the unboxing of, or I don't know, the unplasticking of the Shadow Nuragi Mark III. So this is the Shadow Nuragi Mark II from Sneak Attack. So yeah, as you can see, it is a bit patinaed and a bit like worn out because I wear this thing all of the time. It's actually one of the jackets. There I say in the local tech media and gaming and esports scene here in the Philippines, I'm one of those people with a very, very unique aesthetic when it comes to clothes because I like wearing nice clothes and I like looking good. But yeah, uh, this is one of the like jackets or nuragis that I'm known for. Uh, people keep calling it the armored nuragi because when they see it in person and they touch it, they say, oh, it's super thick. And it it's kind of like an armored version of what we have because some people here also wear nuragis, but they wear kind of like the silken ones or the slightly like uh, lighter nuragis but yeah the shadow mark 2 nuragi from sneak attack i i think this is a cotton a japanese cotton and it patinas really well as you can see the patina on this looks pretty damn amazing uh and yeah it is very functional so uh, it's cut in a way that it doesn't restrict movement and it's got some features to further improve that non-restriction of movement and of course as is with any tech wear piece it has a lot of pockets so it has a shoulder pocket here 
you know, it has a shoulder pocket here with uh, Velcro, uh, what do you call this, the, the hairy side of Velcro because the other one is kind of like the loop side of Vel Velcro. This one has the hairy side so you can put Velcro stuff on here. It has a zip pocket right underneath that. Uh, do note this is not a waterproof pocket there is kind of like this underlying expectation with techwear that it usually is like waterproof but yeah this piece is not actually waterproof so it is water resistant but it's but it's not waterproof there's a difference so this piece is not water resistant so if you go into the rain wearing this you are going to get wet uh, it's going to resist the water a little bit but you know not not for long so this does not have a waterproof uh, uh, zip. There is a chest pocket here, same size as the shoulder zip pocket. And if you find someone else wearing like a Shadow Noragi Mark II from Sneak Attack, they're probably not going to have this. This is like a, an aftermarket modification. I asked the Sneak Attack staff to make, and this is a reflective Sneak Attack uh, print that was ironed on here by Miss Angel. <laughs> but yeah, it has two pockets on the front, like uh, like pockets like these. It has two of these on the front, and they carry. And they are super sturdy, and they have like enough carrying weight for snacks and stuff. There's a loop inside. This still has like the old tag that Sneak Attack has uh, for those who work in shadows. So yeah, this is kind of like a legacy tag for them. They don't use this kind of tag anymore. They use the white one with the with the sizing on it. There's a little loop on the inside, and as you can see, uh, some of these uh, the joinery on. I don't know if, the, if that's the correct term, but the joinery uh, of the the panels here on the back is double stitched, and it's super sturdy. I mean, I don't know how to convey it to you guys, but every time someone like gets a hold of Minoragi or tries it on or like touches it for the first time the very first thing they always say is whoa this is like high quality for something that's made in the philippines we do have at the side uh zips here at the side so these zips are made so if you open them like this uh you can have two features so you can have like better uh, ease of movement because uh, the sides are not going to restrict your uh, twisting movement in your hip and it also allows you to access bags that are stored under the Nuragi so if you have like a sling bag or a shoulder bag and you want it to be like a bit more protected uh, from playful hands or from the elements if it's if it's raining a bit outside you can actually wear your bag first then wear the nuragi then if you have to access the bag you can just zip it up and then access your bag and zip it back down so you can have it protected by the nuragi again so yeah this was my first jacket that allowed that kind of like customization i love this jacket i am probably still going to be using it every once in a while just for the heck of it i'm kind of like known for this nuragi People see me in it all of the time, and sometimes I host videos wearing it. So that's the Shadow Mark II. There, there was a version of it before that. I wasn't able to snag that version because I didn't know Sneak Attack back then when they released the Mark I. But the Mark II, that's when I that that's kind of like my benchmark piece. When I got this, that was the first time that I got to know about Sneak Attack. I got to know the people there. And this one, the next one that we're going to tackle is kind of like, it's kind of like the next like benchmark and the line. So this is the Sneak Attack Project Shadow 721 Nuragi. It is a variation of their uh, Shadow Nuragi that was made specifically for the collaboration between Sneak Attack Design Lab and Project 721, which is Carlo Opless kind of like lifestyle brand. I, I wanted to talk about this a little bit because it shows kind of like the progress of design from Sneak Attack Design Lab. So before this, they had the Shadow of the Mark II. Then they had this, which is kind of like a bit more economical take because I think this was around 2,000 pesos cheaper compared to the Shadow of the Mark II. And since we're talking about techware here, we always have to consider the function of which the the piece was designed for. The Shadow Nuragi Mark II was designed to be like an actual Nuragi outdoor jacket. 
This one was designed to be an indoor jacket, so it's kind of like a smoking robe if you're familiar with it. Kind of like the silky, slightly glossy robe that, <laughs> that rich people would smoke cigars in in movies. So that was supposed to fulfill this because during the time that this was designed and released, it was still in the middle of lockdown. So they wanted people to still be stylish, still have that like very fancy, very uh, sophisticated samurai look while staying comfortable indoors. So this does not have the sturdy, super sturdy build of the Shadow Nuragi Mark II, but it still retains a lot of the functionality of the Shadow Mark II. So it still has a shoulder pocket here. It is uh, no longer a zip pocket. I don't know the correct terminology for that, a flappy pocket. It is a 2.5D pocket though, meaning it can kind of expand here. It has like some space here to expand if you want to store something bigger in it. We have enlarged front pockets here. So, and they're not exactly like square cut. There is some like shape for it because it has to take into consideration the angle in which your arms enter the pocket because if you have it squared you're kind of like gonna have to like dinosaur your hands into the pockets but this one they wanted it to be comfortable so there's kind of like a consideration in how your hands will enter your pocket uh we have an enlarged like uh no zips on this uh, they have an enlarged like opening here at the sides so your movement is not hampered by the jacket and of course it is cut way way longer way way longer than the shadow noragi mark ii because it's expected to be a robe not a jacket so it has to be kind of like that flowy uh soft and breathable uh robe <laughs> Also, this jacket has loops on the inside and it also came with a strap so you can actually close it like an actual robe. Uh, I kind of lost the webbing <laughs> that came with this, but yeah, I will be mending that one of these days. So yeah, this was their Nuragi right after the Shadow Nuragi Mark II. I'm kind of like skipping three versions of their Nuragis here. So we have the Dark Days Umbra Nuragi which is kind of like the super premium. If the 721 Nuragi was placed a bit lower compared to the Shadow series of Nuragis, the Umbra is kind of like the more premium version. It comes with way more features, way better materials, and way more construction techniques than the Shadow Nuragi. So you can kind of say that the, the, the Shadow Nuragi is kind of like the benchmark. It's kind of like the equator line. So anything below that, it's a bit more economical and anything above the Shadow Nuragi, it's a bit more like hyper technical and of course, higher quality. So after the Umbra, they had the Patchwork Nuragi. The Patchwork Nuragi was based off of the Umbra, but is a bit more avant-garde and is way, way more uh, striking in design compared to the all black Umbra. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to talk about the Umbra or the Patchwork Naragi here on the channel, I can probably borrow one from Sneak Attack so I can talk about its features here on the channel. But uh, the last one, the last release of the Naragi right before the Shadow Naragi Mark III was uh, the Desert Camo and the Sand Naragi. They were kind of like the continuation of the Shadow line. So the Desert Camo Naragi was, was kind of like an a la carte piece it was designed to be sold in Singapore when Sneak Attack attended uh, SneakerCon, I think. SneakerCon Singapore or something like that. It was based off of Psalm's new designs for the Shadow Naragi. But since they wanted to do something like special for their Singapore outing, uh, they kind of made it with special materials. So it had some uh, desert camo uh, panels. Then they made like the Sand Naragi. I keep forgetting the proper name for it. I'm just going to put it there. <laughs> uh, which is kind of like a non-super special and a le lot less limited edition version of <laughs> that Naragi that they sold in Singapore. And now we have this. So this is the Shadow <laughs> Naragi Mark III from Sneak Attack. So yeah, uh, we're going to be discussing all of the upgraded designs 
and uh, upgraded functionalities and what do you call this like aesthetics for the Shadow Naragi Mark III. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to talk about everything that improved from the last Shadow Naragi. So this was provided for me by Sneak Attack, actually Angel and Sal. Angel, Dwight, Salm, and Kirby uh, all told me that, okay, this is actually our Christmas present for you. So Christmas came early <laughs> this year. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sneak Attack. Uh, I think they also like uh, specifically chose this one for me because outside of actually working for Sneak Attack, because I don't work for Sneak Attack. I'm just like a big fan of the brand and I'm just friends with the brand's people. Outside of like actual sneak attack employees i'm probably the best person to talk about this on camera <laughs> so yeah this is the shadow mark 3 noragi uh it is an upgraded version of the shadow mark 2 noragi and it's just like chef's kiss so now it is of a medium weight ripstop material it's now a bit <laughs> greener compared to the slightly yellow and slightly brown shadow mark 2 nuragi so yeah this one has some hits of yellow and some brown mixed into it but this one is now a straight olive green nuragi and i'm all for it i actually like this hint of olive a bit better than the Shadow Naragi Mark II. Uh, if you guys didn't know, my favorite color is green. I love green stuff. Even my haggers are of the color green. I just love the color green. Like I said, uh, upgraded materials. We're also going to see upgraded like paneling and construction techniques here. So everything is double stitched. I keep forgetting the exact terminology that Sam used for this, but apparently it's double stitched and it's double stitched in a way that it'll not restrict movement and actually still maintain its like structural integrity and if you remember uh, earlier when i showed you like the the inside of the shadow mark to nuragi it had like this one big channel of fabric in the middle that supposedly allows allows it a bit more movement because it can stretch that way because it's folded over on itself this one the shadow mark 3 has this big panel at the top that doesn't have like the overlapping panels here at the top because it's supposed to hold its form a bit better. Then it has that little channel down here. So it kind of like has that little stretchable like allowance here at the bottom. Uh, we still have the straight like lapels here at the side and we see the return of the chest uh, chest pocket. But now it's way bigger. Uh, if you remember earlier when I showed you, I can cover the chest pocket of the Shadow Mark II Naragi with my hand. This one is big. It's way bigger than my hand. It's also a bit deeper. Uh, it still has front pockets, but now they have been upgraded to uh, 2.5D pockets. The previous ones were just straight up. Uh, linear pockets these ones are 2.5d pockets when i say 2.5d pockets they have kind of like this flap at the bottom so it allows the pocket to expand if you put like bigger stuff in it but when you don't have stuff in it it kind of like holds its shape and keeps it hugs the form so your silhouette when wearing this won't be like too flowy or too i don't know too flimsy it keeps its form very well. Uh, this is what I mentioned before. So uh, the previous one still had the legacy like tag from Sneak Attack. This is their new tag, as you've seen in my previous videos featuring the Sneak Attack, uh, free, featuring other Sneak Attack uh, products. So yeah, designed in silence for those who work in shadows, may you strike and seen. And it is L and XL. So unlike the Shadow Mark II Nuragi, which I think came in three sizes, the Shadow Mark III only comes in two sizes. So you have small to medium and large to XL. This kind of like sizing uh, started getting applied during the era of the 7 to 1 Nuragi. So they found that, okay, we can actually cut this down to just two sizes. So the small and medium will fit most like smaller people and the large and XL models will fit larger people like Kibbs. 
we see the return of the shoulder pocket the sleeve pocket so it still has uh, this non-waterproof zip and it still has the velcro patch right it's only like a bit bigger than before because when i asked sam about it he wanted to have that a bit more flowy design to the jacket instead of like being a bit more form-fitting and a bit more armored looking like the shadow mark ii so yeah a few features that were added to the mark III that were not present in the mark ii was these so these are the sleeve ends and they have a little cutout at the end of them so they allow the sleeves to move much more naturally alongside your arm movement so it's not going to restrict any movement from your arms then we see the return of the side zip but now it's way longer because the mark 3 is a longer jacket and it also now has this uh what do you call this like a like a tag like a pull cord and it's of a weird design it's kind of like a snake design it looks like a snake i'll probably swap these out sneak attack though i like the orange like hits <laughs> at least just swap these out for orange hits before we go to the big edition we also have to show this this is the new like hang tag i think uh, i don't know what you call this it's kind of like the tag for sneak attack now it's kind of like a hot pink tag with a white dagger on it the sneak attack dagger on it it's pretty cool and it's always like slapped onto or stitched onto like a weird place uh this uh design started with the patchwork noragi which is super cool uh i love it but it makes the jacket look super super unique keep doing this sneak attack the one thing the, the one super important thing that sneak attack added to the shadow mark 3 noragi is a feature that <laughs> a lot of tech wear heads especially fans of acronym have requested from sneak attack for a long while now and it comes with jacket sling so the jacket sling is kind of like a sling system built into the jacket that allows you to wear it without actually wearing it it allows you to wear it like a bag instead of like a jacket so if you're coming from a cold place then you go indoors where it's kind of like hotter or a bit warmer you have to take off the jacket you can take it off then wear it through the sling so the sling is going to hang off your back kind of like a cape or kind of like a sling poncho so you can still keep your jacket you don't have to hang it off your bag or store it or stow it away somewhere and you can still access the pockets you can actually still access the pockets of the jacket while it's in sling mode and that's something that i'm super super happy that Salm was able to figure out for these uh this feature was actually first introduced in the ombra uh naragi and it has become a staple feature of the shadow and upwards models of uh, sneak attack noragi so these are just like you, if you don't want to use the sling it's fine because these are buttoned so you can actually remove them so if you're not a fan of the sling or you find that the sling catches on to stuff when you're walking about because that could happen because these are like free floating slings you can actually take them off you can actually store them somewhere and then reinstall them on the jacket once you actually need to use them but yeah they they kind of like the, have these external loops on the like the armpit area two of these and one external loop here at the back of the nape so it's just looped together and yeah i'm gonna show you here how and how it actually looks in slang mode and how you can access the pockets that's the sneak attack shadow mark 3 noragi you have any questions leave them down in the comments i'll be happy to answer them i know a lot about sneak attack history because some, for some of it i was there and for most of it i keep asking them about it these guys probably don't know how big of a fan i am of their brand <laughs> and this is one of my ways to show show it to them so yeah thank you very much for watching uh if you want a review of this let me know i can probably do like a quick review on this probably not as in-depth as my laptop reviews because this has way less features than a laptop but yeah i can 
probably do it justice. <laughs> so yeah, let me know down in the comments if you want a review of this. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.